Hi there guys, I'm Chris. I'm Harvey. And today we are doing an autopsy on this thing. It is a, it is indeed a thing. It, it is, is we're thing. not entirely sure what it is, but I believe it's a gyroscopic navigation system for an aircraft. Is there a label on the front? There is a label here that- Oh, don't do that. What? Because you're gonna drop it. No, I to it's totally, it's rock stable. Uh -huh. I've got this, there's, there's a label. There's oh, a label there. there's a label here. There's a label. I didn't see these. Nobody read the label. Well, we're, it says gyroscope unit. Oh, well, there you Ooh, go. hey, 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 hey. hey. Let's, let's share this with the class. This is a Gun Director Mark 56 Model 2 gyroscope unit. Um, it weighs 162 pounds. Mm -hmm. I might have been a little off when you moved it, and I was like, it's like 50 pounds. Turns out it weighs 162 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> And it's made by the Navy Department, well, it's manufactured for the Navy Department, Bureau of Ordnance by General Electric. Okay. Okay. So it's a gyro unit. This is for aiming guns. For aiming guns. Big guns. Cool. Big damn guns. Where I would you like, like to guns. start? Top? I like, I, there's a lot of these little bits. There is a lot. So we'll so just get start that. digging into it. Yeah. <laughs> you, no, you, yeah. get, you get what that. What the hell am I going to do? I oh, I hate you. How'd you go? Did you get two off? I got that whole side, actually. Oh, <laughs> Pocket with you. So these are called acorn nuts? Yes. That's not actually true. Acorns are seeds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, you got that whole side. Yeah, okay. that's why I was giving you credit for getting two off. Hey, you've got your, now show them what you got here. This is a neat EDC tool. It's a pocket widgie. It's it a is one pocket of the, widgie. It's one of the most useful tools I've ever carried. Except as it's a not working for you here. No, it, but it just gives me that little bit extra leverage. Okay. Contrary to popular belief, a flat blade screwdriver is not a lever. I'm gonna need to hit it. Because it's on there. It's, it's really in there. Yeah. No, you're below, you're below. Yeah, but there's a gasket. Is so it? it? Yeah, it doesn't that's matter what which. The, oh, well, that's what I the pressure see is All for. Right. So it doesn't matter where I go, above or below the gas. I got an idea. Give me your idea. Give me your widgie and a pair of dice. Oh god, I'm just gonna amuse myself over here for a moment. Okay, you just sit there and think of a happy thought. Oh, that's a bad sound. It's a great sound. It's not the first time. Whoa! I've been. Hey. Hey, that's sexy. Oh my god. That's nifty. All right. Now that is, that's electrically driven. Okay. So if we could figure out how to spin that up, that would be pretty cool. Now it's limited, it only goes from here yeah. Sorry, to Jim, there. If you're upside down. And it, it from here to you. here. And I don't know what this is. Uh, sure. It's, wow. Oh, there's a bit on the bottom. There's a, a, there's a, thing? There's a thing. Can you see it? There's this thing here. Oh, okay, so there's the same on the bottom. Okay. That is so cool. All right, let's take all the covers off and see what we can see first. Okay. Oh, what? I got it. You know, we have like, there's another one of these right there. Nope. I'll bet if we had another 3-8 socket. Yep. I'm just, I'm just saying. That's right. That's what I'd do. I get an R38 socket. Yeah. Well, these are access points. Oh, it's so cool. Crusty. That that little feeling there where you go, I need to just, just wedge this a little bit. Yeah, that's why I carry it. Oh! 
awesome maker plate. <laughs> Yeah, just do it with your fingers. Got it. Yep. Ready? Same again. Boop. Yep. Oh, hey, there's a whole other thing in the bottom. Yeah, yeah, I can see something down in there, but I, I don't know if it turned. Is it turned? Oh, it's a gimbal, too. There's a gimbal, but. But it's really, really it limited. It barely moves at all. Okay. We got to take the stuff off the outside yep. because this is really, this is restricting it. Okay. There's, there's like a, this is a drive motor and there's a lot of gears. I've got the same so, over here. Yeah. Let's start taking all the cruft off the outside. Do you want to start on one side specifically? I'll start on this side, start you start on. on this side. If we, but don't, don't take off anything inside, uh, okay. just the outside. Okay. Nope. I'm gonna need much larger screwdrivers. Did you get a wide variety of flavors of straight blade screwdriver? Nope. Yeah. Oh, lovely. I want that one. You want that one? I want that one. Go for this one. And that's way more better. I've got some amazing splice connector thing. It's kind of like a Lovejoy, but not. Okay. Oh, I thought that was a motor and it's not. That is a very serious potentiometer. Look at this. It's got a huge resistive element all the way around. That's, okay. that's what happens when you make a potentiometer and say, I don't care what it costs. And that measures how far this is rotated? Yeah, this, this measures rotation okay. here which is fed off of the big yeah. gear. So when this whole thing turns, yep. this tells where it goes. So you probably have the motor on your side, yeah. and I've got measurement got on my side. Motors, yeah. So I gotta figure out how to get that off of there. Look at that. I wanna play with this potentiometer, that's neat. But first, I wanna figure out how to get it off the shaft. which I think is done right there. That is totally done in that manner. Yeah. If I can turn it, I can pull it. Makes sense. I can turn it, but I can't pull it. That makes me sad. So normally when we look at this sort of age of stuff, it's... This is 60s. All of, yeah, all of the cables are laced up with string, like wax, wax string. What's, yeah. What's the black stuff? Wax string. Is it like a nylon? This? Yeah. It's a similar technique, but it doesn't look like the normal white. I think it's just black string as opposed to white string. Okay. It might be nylon or something. Here, let me cut a piece off. Yeah. Because I haven't seen it with the black. I've seen it with black before in transmitters, also okay. made by General Electric. This looks like a waxed string. Okay. Because like there is sections here where fibers. It's, yeah, this is totally. There are sections here that look like. something, um, it might be a nylon, like a really small nylon line, okay. like a nylon twine, but it's just it's just waxed string of some manner. Because they are, they are using some 
black PVC electrical tape here, but then the rest of it's all laced up with that style. I'd be really happy if I figure out how to get this. I can make it wiggle. You're not having too much luck? I am, I, well, there's three oh. bolts that if I could get off, three screws that if I could get off, I'd get the whole thing out, but oh. the only way to get to the why screws is from the back of the why plate. Why don't you just undo oh, those screws Oh, then? wait, 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 I see a thing. Just undo those three screws. One motor. Two motors. Do you have a pair of pliers? Uh, yes. All right, take that off. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, sure, I do. Okay, nope, here. Nope, knock yourself nope. out. Got one better. What? All right. What are you going to do with that? Yeah. Just give it a turn. Is that going to work? It'll work. If that works, they got to get a shot of that. Give it a work. Give it a turn. Knock yourself out. Ah. What are you turning? A really big screw. Oh. This, this is actually appropriately sized yeah, for this that's, screw. Yeah, that's why I got it. So are you doing this right now? Or? No, no, oh. I'm, I'm in a totally no. different thing. Well, I'm not no, if you can get that off, I can get this off. Oh. Okay. I went on to a different thing just oh, because I there was a really big it. screw there. Oh. I don't want to take that big screw out. That's the jewel mount, the bearing mount for this. I don't oh. want to take that out. So I'm going to leave that to hell off. Okay. And that's the bearing mount for down there. This is the most, one of the most awkward situations I've been. Aha. Hey, Bowden. Yeah. Did you get it? Put your hand up. Look at that. Okay, that was huh? smooth. Huh? That, you like? That's that's a, what is that's, this? That's a pocket wrench. Pocket wrench two. Yep. Actually worked for yep. what we needed it to. Yep. That's why. <laughs> one day, one of these days, you, me, and Batman have to do an EDC video. Yes. Because we each have our own specific things that we carry, and I don't think either of us agree with all of the others. <laughs> what <laughs> What are you doing? See that big gear? <laughs> this is my gear puller. Okay. <laughs> How about I, how about I get on the other side then? And sure. Get a hand. You get on the other side. Because I'm just oh trying God. to pull the gear. See, see, because I'm trying to do it all one way. Oh, if you oh, ever, if you oh. I've seen a gear oh, puller. They oh. work in three ways. Yeah. Don't stop. We're so close. Oh. It I'm felt sorry, so good. But I'm just, already. No, I got everything. There I you go. I got everything I needed, so I, I stopped. And I got. That's a really heavy gear. It's a key gear. Yeah, it's got to be key. Man. Yeah. A cool. woodruff key. Oh, there's a bearing in the housing. Check it out. Yes, there is. Oh. A nice bearing at that. Mm. All right. So I can turn this all the way around now. I can freely turn it. And with that, okay. Do you have any Allen keys? Did we get the set of Allen keys? Uh, no. Hey, KC, can we have the set of Allen keys from over there, please? I think this whole side is going to take a fair bit of screw pulling and then it's just all going to fall off. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. This is American for World War II. There won't be no metricated fasteners. In there. <laughs> American. American system. Gun sets for the military. Do it all with flatheads so that it takes longer to assemble it. I think assembled. they did. Charged by the hour, yeah. Okay. Push me that. That is going to come straight out. Go in your hole. Oh, God, I can't get it in the hole. Okay. Right here. No, that ain't it either. You need a bit of help over there? Not entirely sure. This one little part is proving way more difficult to get out than I was anticipating. I think somebody drove that in there and sheared it off. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. 
and just said button it up it's not like it really matters well it's not yeah. you'd never see it you'd never know but that yeah. side's totally rounded off and that side's it looks like it looks like they put a fastener in mm -hmm. and then filled it with solder hmm. it's really weird I've never seen anything quite like it secret tech yo And I don't have a screwdriver small enough to fit into that. So the best nope. I can do... Turns out that one's not disconnected. ...is nope. that one. wedge something in there. Come around this side. Oh, come on. Oh. Come on. Got it. You got it? Got it. How did you do it? Uh, there's a spring clip inside this fitting. Oh. There's a really weird, it's, it's kind of like a Lovejoy, but not, it's really weird. That's the coupling to the... To yeah, the it's the coupling yep. for the potentiometer. Okay. I think I'm going to have to start cutting some cables. I think you should cut some cables. I think I should cut some cables. I'm just going to leave the cover off of that because that's a demonstration piece all on the time. Alright, so I don't have to get that out. Nope. Hey! 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 Yeah! Look at that! I pulled the motors off and it starts Everything spinning. moves! Yep! Everything moves! Turns out the motor was the problem. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Why do you gotta be like this? I don't know. Why? It's just, it's just a natural instinct. <laughs> You were like, oh no, I broke it. So Man, there are more little weights and switches yeah. and relay type open contacts. This thing's like a pinball machine in here. All right, I'm just going to share that. There is some very gungy I don't think there's any relays to keep in this here. Yeah, there's a little gyro core down in the bottom one, too. Ah, okay. So I want to see what we got to do to power up those, what the, the internal up? gyro motors. All right, I got to get this off. I think this has spun in quite a while. Did you do bad things to it? No, 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 it just, it hasn't turned in many years. Well, this has been rotting away in the bottom of a guy's basement oh. for 30 years, oh. maybe more. You don't want to know where we had to save this stuff from. It was really disgusting. Yeah? Yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. All right. Uh, now yeah, I know those wires. Off? I'm just going to cut yeah, this off up here. Take it off. Because I know those wires don't go to anything I want. The only wires I care about are the ones that feed the motor in there, because I want to try and spin this up eventually. Oh, okay. And if we can do that, that'll be pretty Because this is driven off that whole board that I pulled off. What? This. Yeah, that. But the motor itself is going to get fed from in here. Oh, okay. Ah! That's a lot of wire. Do you need a hand? No, I, I got this. You sure? I needed a hand back then, but now I'm cool. What well, are these? It's the best time to offer a hand. These are... I think these are position indicators. I think they're yeah, rotary they, encoders. Yeah, they, they don't seem to, uh, like the main drive comes off that bottom wheel, which is directly off this motor. Those ones just... I think like these are rotary encoders, and this on its own could be a pretty cool autopsy. There's so two on the are, same, two off the same wheel though. I don't know. Yeah, no, there was two off the same wheel. Maybe they're set just out of phase, so it's... More accurate? Half, 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 okay. half, yeah. Okay. Okay, just taking this off, mm -hmm. this piece is going to take somebody half an hour to clean all the wires off of there okay. to get just to the ones we want. Now, the wire here feeds here, feeds here, loops around to here, comes out over here, goes down through here, and up and through, and that's these wires right here. So, I know that the motor power here, it spins at, yeah. comes off here. Okay, well and done. And we that need was to figure out... Some brilliant deduction. I'm here to help. Yep. Um, so they've only penetrated the case for cabling in one location? No, there's a penetration here, 
And yeah, that's it. So I can reasonably reassure you that any cabling in here goes, goes through, through here. Yeah. yeah. Now we want to not take out this gear system nope. here because that that's the idler gear between the two. Yep. Do we want to take the other end off? The if bottom? we do, I don't. Yeah. If we do, I don't know what we're going to set it on. Um, we can't set it on this side or that side. We can set it on this side and be okay. And we can set it on this side and be alright. What? Are, uh, yeah. Why not? All right. Oh, you broke the label. Communism broke that label. <laughs> <laughs> the communist masters of deceit. You gonna get the other side? I can. I can do that. Getting all the ones I can reach. Here. Thank you, sir. I'm going to take these, what appear to be capacitors off. I'm going to lift this. Do you want to grab the bottoms? Sure. Hang on just a second. You want me, do you want to lift it and I grab the, I take the ones off? That's exactly what I just oh, said. Oh, okay. Well, you said grab the bottoms. Like, what do you want me to do? Oh, I said grab the bottom ones. Now, there's a couple screws. Through the case, okay. I don't know if that'll come right off. We might have to take a couple things off, and it might just, or it might be that thing mounted to the inside down here. Could be. Yeah. I don't know what that thing is, but hang on. Yep. There's a, oh. I don't know, a desiccant maybe. Moisture absorber. That would be what a desiccant yeah. is. Yeah. Hey, there's some service tools in there. Oh my God, there's tools in here. So it turns out that's the service port. Yeah. Hang on, let's, let's see what these are. Okay, we got, looks like a really serious duty chuck key. Mm -hmm. Another little T key. Are we missing a piece? Do you think there was something there? I think there was something there. I think oh. it's not there now. You know why? Because someone else missed one? Classified. Oh. That piece is yeah. obviously classified. That was the tube. And you got to take this one all the way out to get the implement out. Okay. I'm pretty sure that thing there is a desiccant. So we've got, inside we've got these tools. Huh. Okay, so what's that piece at the back wall? That. Don't tell me that's the instruction. No, no, no. The service this manual? Is, no, I think it's a desiccant thing. Yeah, oh. this is an indicator, safe, unsafe. It's a humidity oh, indicator. It's a window. It's, yeah. it's unsafe. Yeah, there's right a now, nice little unsafe. view window that we should have probably seen. If you put this in an oven and bake it, it'll probably turn blue again. Oh, that makes sense. And then... Oh, it's... it's nope, it, it, it's tied on. You want to untie that? There you go. I'm going to just get my untiers. Okay. Humazorb. It only absorbs humans? No, this only absorbs units. Oh. Humazorb contains eight units. Oh. It's from Culligan. <laughs> so, hi to everybody in Northbrook, Illinois, and San Bernardino, California. And there's 16 units of Humazorb in there, apparently. Yep. All right, so now we've 16? got... Eight. We've got a really big set of weights. Okay, so that's... When you move that, that's moving my top section as well. Yeah. So there... I've got what appears to be a heater down here on so the side, I'm too. So, I'm going to rotate that back to where it should be. Oh, okay, so the weights are just on the one side to counterweight the big dingus over here. You should be able to rotate that fully, actually. Yeah, to it. Well, yeah. So you can get a 180 each way from center. I have no idea 
what this thing is. Can you see any ports where those service tools would fit? Because it's not like they've left us a flat blade and a Phillips driver. They've yeah, these are really tools. specific. They're, they're going to go somewhere very obvious that only... May I have a look at the two smaller ones? The two flat ones? Those are probably lock pins that go in somewhere to yeah. keep things from moving. That looks about right. So... I don't have anywhere this fits. So if we... Where, can I grab those this Allen keys? This gear. Sure. Because I've found a, a small grub... Well, it's a quite a large grub screw out here, which lines up with a hole in one of the, one of the larger drive wheels and the case. So... Jeez. That's the wrong size. This key meshes with this... Oh, hey! You hey, can, hey, 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 hey. Look at oh, these. Look it's at a, these. It's an, it's All right. Yeah. Look on the side of these, and they're toothed, mm -hmm. and it matches this. This so. is for adjusting the rotational, the angular position of these. But where does it lock in? Because they were mounted in the side here. No, they were mounted in here. I don't know. But that would make sense. But you can see that's it, because it doesn't mesh to any of the other gears. No. But it fits that one like it was made for it. We got messy size here. So it turns out this is not a, well, it's a full kit, but it doesn't contain all the different sizes. So I'm going to break something if I keep doing that. Yay! Yay! But yes, if you have a look down in here. Down through this top Yeah, window. I see it. No, you're, you're 180 degrees off. Right about there, there's a hole that meshes into the side and pops out through one of these little grub screws. Okay. You can drive that pin in and lock the whole system together. One of these pins? Yeah, I can probably put it in backwards. Can you put it in forwards? No, because I can't get the grub screw Because you can't out. get the grub screw No, yeah. that doesn't fit right. The right size, then. That fits right. Yeah. That's exactly so that where that So that secures goes. the whole system. All right. And then you can service as required. Okay. Nifty. This is really, really cool. I'll just disconnect that. So, how much further do we want to go? Um, because I still have no idea what this unit on the bottom is. And we could take a lot of this out. So it doesn't have the same three-way, four-way gimbals as the top? This is gimbaled, but I'll move it so they can see it. It's gimbaled. Mm -hmm. there is a, there's a gyroscope wheel down in the middle. And it only moves this way. Like, come on, come on over here. And take okay. It, it only moves back and forth like ten degrees. Okay. Okay. So there's a little gyro wheel yep. here. Yeah, I've got one up in the top. Yeah. This only moves back and forth that way about ten degrees. It yep. moves back and forth this way, the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's like five, ten degrees, and then this whole thing rotates to match that one, right? But what I see is there's this disc here, this okay. in, and it's hemispheric. It's like domed out, mm -hmm. and it rides inside these, and these are laminated cores like a transformer. Okay. So I, that makes me think these are electromagnetic coils, and this is, this is either pushing it into position or it's reading where its position is that way. Okay. It's really weird. I have no idea what this does. This isn't the first one of these I've seen. There's another similar thing with the coils and the mm -hmm. cores and, and a gyroscopy thing in the middle. Yep. Uh, well, a gimbal thing in the middle that I have on the autopsy bench, and we've never taken it apart. Okay. But I have one, and we should we should do that as a video and figure it out. But this is... Okay, so, so not knowing anything about how the, the gyroscopes like these work, is it possible that this is your very coarse measurement and that's a very fine measurement? Yes. Okay. That that would be what because I'm because they are linked together. Yeah, that because one doesn't have to be. Because this whole thing mounts in a boat mm. is my guess. Because like this one doesn't have to be as as free of movement, but it can be a lot more robust and a lot finer. Whereas this one has you know 180 degrees each way. Yeah, of I I think this whole thing is bolted rigid to mm -hmm. a ship or an airplane, one or the other, mm -hmm. and this is telling the gun how to move in relation to the boat. Like so, like when the boat moves. Yeah. The gun stays where it was, um, and it's used for tracking. Because we had the, the two large rotary encoders from this top one, what sensing did we pull off that bottom one? Or is that just all the cabling here? That, I think it's all electrical. Okay. 
I, I think I think it's sensed entirely out of these. Okay. Now there's there's a big box of something here wow. that can you can yeah. we lock this in this position? Um, yeah. I, I, happen I to see have, you've got a number of holes. I have, can you, I have can a you tool put it? for that. I have a tool just for that. That's, that's too far up. But that's too far up? Well, can you... Um, have you got anything in this to this? Uh, I have... There. That's, that's all too far I up. Then, all right, then... Okay, well, that's the only hole that I've found. There well, may be more. let me... Hang on. If I take out a oh. couple of screws, hang then on. you can lock it up there and it won't mess me up. Hang on. Hang on. Where do you need it? Right there? Yeah. I've got one oh, right there. Oh, that's lovely. Like they thought See? of that. Because someone that's put great. that on. Now I just need a skinnier straight blade. Oh, hey, this might work. So in both of those locks, I've used the larger pin. Where does that one go? I have no idea. We'll find out. I don't. Well, you work on that. Well, I'll take the cover off. It's supposed to be I'm helpful. Get, I'm, get, I'm helping. I'm a helper. I'm getting into this box. I'm exploring its secret chambers. That scares me quite a lot. I'm probably violating some manner of national security while I'm doing yeah. it. Yeah. From about 40 years ago. Yeah, I'm pretty sure nowadays they're doing this with a little IMU. Yeah. Just rigged up to a cell phone. Yeah. I've got nothing for that smaller one. Okay. Ooh. What'd you find? Real. Whoa! Oh. What did you find? Oh, look at this. Look at this. I got a coil of wire. Okay, mm -hmm. I, got, I, got, I got a coil here split in half. Yep. And it moves back and forth, which is impressive. Okay. And it rotates around like that, which is even more. Hang on, just rotate. No, that's connected to the. That's the, moving with the gyro bit, isn't so it? So the whole thing is connected. Oh, that's sexy. And there's a coil here, mm -hmm. and there's a coil here, and there's a coil here. So this is the position, this is the sensor. The sensor for the positioning. Yeah. Okay. Okay, can you uh, so loosen that and spin it around? With the size of that, sort of that sort of coil, how fine of a measurement could you get from that? You ever see how hard drives work? Mm -hmm. Well, if you can position something that fine. Same idea. You can probably read something that fine. Excellent. Um, and these are the adjustment screws. Okay. So can you pull the pin and yep. spin this up? Spin it however you want. Finger it. eating good. All right, let's, let's open this box. I've got a lot more holes here All to right. connect. Um, come around further. That'll fit. There? That's, That's not where it's supposed to be, but that'll fit. I think we'll find another dingus in here. Because this has the, the bump uh, on it, like the other one. What's that number on there? B2607. B2608. Yeah, I've got a couple up on the up on that big motor cradle that I pulled off as well. Yeah, this is going to be another one of those coil systems. That's I wonder neat. if that indexes to the top here. Well, top in this is relative. Yeah, I mean up to the, the railing up here. Doesn't appear to. Oh, hang on. What you got? No, these are all E's. It's like E2601, oh, okay. E2603. So it may be a manual reference. Ah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> and there's a magnet. Had to there's, break it. there's a serious magnet in there. The other one had it too, but I thought it was the air resistance taking it off. But there's something there as magnet, because okay. this is non-magnetic. That should be. Okay. It's the black thing in the back of okay. the magnet. Okay. So this is another. Now this one only moves. It only has one axis yep. of movement. Yep. And it's back and forth. What else can we take apart? Um, watch your fingers. Go. Well, oh, we fell back. over. We fell over the top. You've also come off the. Off of this. It's disconnected. Yep. How the hell did that happen? I don't know. You pushed a button. Oh, the no. This gear on the side's only it's, half it's round. It's only half a wheel? Yeah. Okay. okay. Hang on. Oh, wow. That gets hard fast. Did you break something? I, I think we... This we've, is why I you'll never work for the Navy. There wasn't a lot of danger of that happening anytime soon. This is why right. you'll never... Which way do you want it? We want to go this way. Oh, God. 
Hey, it moved. Hey, we're engaged again. Oh, it's totally out of sync. Yeah. Uh, it'll be fine. And taking that out is how you get them in, in and out of sync. Mm. Do you want to pull that out of sync again? You should be able to rotate that a lot further. Anything else on That's the That's pretty close. Anything else interesting? Not really. It's just a lot of commutators. You will be limited by how much cable you've got. Oh, OK. Yeah, that's okay. why it's got that soft turn. Cool. Well, that's a successful autopsy. I want to tinker with this, just screwing around. I want to see if we can figure out the voltage feeds to that motor. OK. And if we can make that spin, we can have some fun with it. And get it operational? Yeah, you can make it where if you spin the whole... Like, we could put this in the Orbitron. Well, we haven't cut any of the main feeds to that motor. So yeah, I specifically avoid that. Need, we'll, and we haven't done it to the bottom motor either. We have to go through all these. Yeah, trace which one goes. Yeah, yeah, we'll figure out what specifically feeds here. Because we've still got one rotary else. encoder here connected. Still yeah. connected to that. Which I don't understand why they need three. Because they're both connected to the, to the exact same axis. Uh, all three of them were connected to the same axis. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. That's so neat. It just blows my mind how they can make something have so much freedom of movement and still be rigidly restrained. It's mm -hmm. just, it's really cool. I kind of want to take this whole thing out and Did explore the, it. But before we do, I want to autopsy the other one that's on the bench and see what we can learn. Did about you see that. the dials here? Yeah, I saw the dials. I didn't yeah. mess with them. Do they? Are they turning? They, yeah, they. Well, one does uh, because I pulled that whole back oh, plate we took off. The, okay. The other well, one. Well, cool. Doesn't. Excellent. All right. Well, that's an autopsy. So thank you for hanging out. Um, that one now. Where, where are we looking? I'm confused. There's so many cameras. I'm going to look there. Yeah. All right. So that's the autopsy of the, there was a name for this. Uh, uh, it the, was a, thankfully, it's on a plate. This is, this is the Mark 56 gun director made by uh, General Electric. This is unit number 26 of gunfire control system, Mark 56. So if anybody wants to look that up and teach us more about it, we're interested. So please comment on the video and let us know. If you're interested in exploring cool bits of engineering like this, learn more about us at thegeekgroup.org. We'd love to have you involved. Come be a member and get to hang out with Weird Australian guys. So <laughs> you guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. I'm Javi. And as always, we'll see you next time. Bye. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.